really use the visual language of sculpture to express my feelings and thoughts and um, reactions to everyday occurrences. I was born in 1944. I grew up in Inglewood and went to Forest High School in Mount Lawley. Well, I had to leave school at 13, unfortunately, to go to work through circumstances in the family. Um, <clears throat> was a very angry young man, in and out of trouble quite a lot, trying to find out who I was and where I was going and what I wanted to do with my life. And it wasn't until I was around 2021 when I was working as a carpenter that I decided to go to art college and give it a try. and. Basically, was uneducated till I went to art college in 1964-65. Had great ambitions to be a great painter, artist, but I had visual problems with my eyesight, etc. So um, I ended up doing sculpture because I found painting, drawing difficult. And being a carpenter, I could use my hands and tools, etc. And to my surprise I was able to see things three-dimensionally which encouraged me and helped me quite a bit in my sculptures. Unfortunately I only had eyesight in one eye in my left eye and none in my right eye and 35 percent vision in my left eye so I think that was a an in a how would one would say a, a hindrance in being an artist. I actually became a sculptor or sculpture student by accident. I was thrown out of the painting class by Penny Whitchurch and um, as I was walking down to go home down past the sculpture uh, department, um, the door was open, the green door. <laughs> I walked in, found some clay, started modelling up a hand and the lecturer, I was there all day actually, and the lecturer at Gordon Co came across me later on the afternoon, saw the sculpture of the hand I'd created and then said, I think Hitchcock, you've probably found yourself, I think you had done a very good job with the sculpture of the hand, you may be a sculptor. So that's, that was the beginning of it. And then I got thrown out of art college. And then I got thrown out of Curtin University, which was weight at the time. I was told I had no ability by some of the lecturers and the head of the department as a sculptor and I should go back to being a carpenter. So. Fortunately, a sculptor lecturer there, Huey Child, said, look, Hitchcock, he said, if you want to spend the next 20 years of your life developing yourself, go and work in factories, in, far in foundries, in fiberglass factories, plaster factories, learn all the techniques of mould making, etc., and castings, and prepared to just devote your life to sculpture and find yourself a studio, and that's what I did. And 20 years later, after 20 years, I was getting commissions and public commissions and doing portrait busts of people, and of which I've done about 140 portrait busts in my lifetime. Um, when I'm working on a project, I do my research first, make up little sketch models or clay or wax models, and then I then create them to about one-tenth life size or one-tenth of the size they're going to be, and then pick out the one that may work out the best or one that I think is a very good design. Then I enlarge it to about one fifth the actual size it's going to be, solve the problems with that, then enlarge it to the actual size. I work seven days a week, eight, 10, 12 hours a day, it depends, and at night time sometimes. It's an energetic and very labor intensive job, but you know, what else can I do? I've created a number of sculptures over the years, so about 17 or 18 public commissions. I've probably created about 140 portrait busts in my lifetime. I've done life-size horses, five of them. Someone criticises my work or criticises me, they've got the problem, I don't. I just have my beliefs, my truths, my values, my aesthetic um, thoughts, and um, I stick by them. As far as Jägen goes, I was very fortunate to have the commission from Mr. Ken Kolbung in the 1970s, and it was controversial. Um, there was a lot of uh, political attacks on the sculpture and in the media, etc. But eventually it came through and it's still out there. In fact, the Australian National Museum in Canberra has commissioned a sculpture, another casting of Jagen, to be um, open next year in Canberra. Um, I've got, I'm working on about five projects at the moment, but I really don't have future plan, plans. I, I live basically in the moments, you know, I'm, 
I come into the studio in the morning and I start work and at the end of the day I finish work and I'm not thinking any further into the future. It's been an exciting and wonderful journey of um, from a kid who was basically told he wasn't going to achieve much in his life and probably end up in jail by the time he was 21.